Hey guys, how are you? I hope everyone is having an awesome, awesome night. We've had a crazy busy day. Um, got up and went to church and then went to my in-laws and had brunch with them about two o'clock and stayed and hung out with them and watched Everybody Loves Raymond and the Golden Girls and just my father-in-law took my kids to the park, like just lots of, you know, family time and whatnot. And we're just getting home and we're not really starving. Hey, Amy Lane, how are you? We're not really starving because we had such a late lunch, but I need to get dinner done because kids are gonna be hungry at some point. And you guys know we're night owls, so um, I know for some of you this is a late dinner at 7.30, but this is what our life is like. So what I'm gonna do is I have some leftover, um, all of that is such a mess, that countertop, just ignore it. <laughs> um, last night I made tacos for a crowd. We had, how many people here? We, I probably cooked for 14 people last night, 15 people. And um, my in-laws were over and Kelsey and the kids were over and my mother-in-law's brother was here and then all of my kids and my husband. And so um, I had some leftover hamburger meat. So that's it's actually taco meat. So it's been seasoned with taco seasoning and with, um, I cook it with onion and garlic and some olive oil, taco seasoning, and then Rotel. I drain a can of Rotel and put it in there. So we're gonna use this as our base. Since I had this and I bought a bunch of pasta like this at Sam's um, earlier this month or late last month. Honey, I'm in the middle of a live. You can't come in here in your underwear. No, you need to go hang out with dad, okay? Since I had this pasta on hand, I had seen quite a few recipes online like in, on Pinterest and stuff for a Tex-Mex type uh, casserole dish. And so I thought what a great way to use up my beef. So that's what I'm gonna do, yes. I'll make you a glass of tea in a minute. You're all so packed. Oh no, we're not having candy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but thank you. I love you. Um, and then I'm going to show you guys a few things while we're waiting for this to cook. I'm going to show you a few things that I have purchased recently on Amazon um, that came in today. So it's for in the kitchen. So it's a few of the things that we've shared with you guys on here that I've been wanting to try for a while and I finally ordered them and they're here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I've got water boiling on the stove for my pasta. <clears throat> we're gonna use an electric skillet here. Um, if you do not have an electric skillet, I really, really encourage you to get one. It is a great way to cook without heating your house up from the oven. Um, you know, like if you're doing a casserole or something, you can totally do a casserole in a um, electric skillet. You can cook anything in here. Last, mate, last night I made two, two and a half pounds of hamburger meat, maybe, I probably made four pounds actually of hamburger meat. And um, yeah, it was four pounds and I cooked it all right in here and there was plenty of room for, you know, using my chopper and all of that. So um, my sister-in-law cooks pizza in these, like she'll take the round pizza, sit them in there, put the lid on it and it cooks it. And it has a dial on the side that goes in and comes out for when you're cleaning it and it'll go up to 400 degrees. So you can totally control your temperature in that way. You need to invest in one if you don't have one. So we've got the water going. We're gonna start this here in our electric skillet. Um, I have one, but rarely use it. Oh, Amy, Alex and I can share lots of ideas for you. Actually, we're working on putting a blog post together for um, like 25 recipes to use your electric skillet in. And then we're also working on a product, a download, downloadable cookbook that is all instant, or not instant pot, all electric skillet recipes. In the summertime, really this thing is great for year round, but in the summertime, it's really, really handy when you have lots of people over, it's handy, and it's just handy for cooking big meals and getting them together quickly for a busy weeknight. This is gonna be a 30 minute dinner that we're doing here. All right, so once I turn the phone down, I'm not gonna be able to see your comments, but I'll try to check in periodically, but I'm gonna show you guys how we're doing this here. So pardon me while we use our super fancy <laughs> equipment here. Okay. So I am going to throw in this hamburger meat and actually I'm going to put, I think my heat's a little too high. I've got it at 300. I'm going to put it at about 275 and I want to put in a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And I'm going to dump in my meat. Like I've looked at a couple of different recipes online, but I'm just kind of going to make them my own. I have a 
another can of Rotel here. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it because I already have Rotel in here. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to take some sour cream and um, some tomato paste and make like a tomato-y, creamy sauce. But I'm going to take a can of black beans and I'm going to rinse them and then put them in here, drain them and rinse them. And I've got this much um, corn left in my freezer. That's not a ton, but I'm going to put that in there. So remember, this meat was cooked yesterday using, I always start with an onion garlic base and olive oil, and it has taco seasoning in it. No, you're not having a soda right now. Okay. Thank you for asking, though. So a few weeks ago when I went to Sam's, I bought a thing of Dr. Peppers, canned Dr. Peppers, and now my kids, I've told them they can only have one a day. That's it. And they are really doing good at sticking to it and, you know, but it's that time where they're wanting to ask for one soda for today. <laughs> All right, let me drain these real quick. All right, so being that our meat's already cooked and we're using frozen corn and some green or some uh, black beans, the longest part of this meal is going to be how long it takes for the um, pasta to boil, honestly. And that water is almost ready for it. I haven't totally, totally decided yet what I'm going to do for my sauce. I know I will do some cheese in here once we get it all mixed up, but I'm still trying to decide. Um, if I want what I want to make my sauce out of. I think I'm going to do tomato paste and sour cream. Maybe a little milk. But I just want to encourage you, you know, utilize the things that you have on hand. Don't think that, you know, even though all you have is maybe a cup and a half of hamburger meat left over from a dinner, don't think that you can't put it to good use because you can. You absolutely can. I'm going to lightly do this so I make sure it's all crumbled up really good. And I think it is. I don't want to smash my beans. Water is boiling. So I'm going to add my pasta over here to the water. I would love to know if you've already done your meal plan for this week, what have you put on your meal plan? I would love to know. And if you made dinner tonight at home, I would love to know what you made. Do share. Let me see what we have going here. All right. No comments yet. I'm going to turn this heat down just a little bit. So while that is cooking, you guys are probably getting a steam bath there. While that's cooking, I want to show you guys a few of the things that I ordered and just came in today from Amazon. One of them is, so my mother-in-law gave me a ton. When we first moved into this house, she gave me a pack of these containers here. They're plastic, um, but the lids all pop on. You've probably seen me use them. You get round and you get square. There's different ones. I love to use these for my leftovers. I love it. I'm at work, so hubby, hubby made enchiladas for the kids and my mom and him a ribeye steak. Yum, yummy, yummy. Um, how are you liking your new place? I saw that you moved. 
I hope you're liking it. I know that has to be so exhausting. I think you mentioned something about it in the group. I saw some of it before I went live. Anyway, I love these, but we have promoted a couple of times. Alex has, she loves these glass version. This is a glass version of it, and it has the same pop and lock lid. And I can tell you, these pop and lock lids are amazing. Um, they really do keep everything airtight, and I have really, really enjoyed using the plastic version, so I went ahead and bought the glass version. I cannot get this off my hand. <laughs> it will not come off. So I bought a whole pack. It came with a set of nine. So now we have so many leftovers. Like seriously, my fridge is full of leftover containers. So um, I needed more and I thought, you know, I want to try these glass ones too. I love the plastic ones, so I'm sure I'll love the glass ones as well. So it comes with, I love this. So there's their glass and then it's that same lid and it just, these pop right on. I love them. Um, it came with a set of nine. The box looks like this. I'll share the link with you. Alex has shared it many times. I believe this is the exact set that she has. But um, it comes with a total of nine different containers um, from 28 ounce down to 11 ounce in their glass. They're BPA free, 100% leak proof. You can put them in the microwave. I do like that because these I'm always yelling at the kids, don't put in the microwave. Because you know, they don't know that they can't microwave plastic until you tell them 500 times. So these glass ones will be able to put in the microwave. Um, Anyway, it's heat resistant glass, leak proof, freezer and dishwasher safe, which I throw these plastic ones in the freezer as well. But um, yeah, it'll just be another set. I'm really excited to have that. So that's one thing that was waiting at the front porch for us today when we got home from my in-laws. Let me stir this pasta real quick. Another thing that I bought the other day, Alex had posted, um, hold on, this, these noodles are sticking a little bit to the bottom. Alex had posted about these mats, and I know that she uses them. I use parchment paper all the time, but she had posted these mats, and I wanted to try them, so I did some research, and these are the ones that I ended up with. I got a set of four. I'm going to let you guys know how they are and how I like them. They're heat resistant up to 480 degrees. Now, there was a pack that had three different sizes or four different sizes, and I almost bought that pack, and that was one that Alex had shared in here um, mid or late last week but I got this one because they're all the same size and you guys know how much I use parchment paper so it's silicone um, I do not know if they're dishwasher free or dishwasher safe um, but they all come in different colors and you just use them and you put them down on your cookie sheet and you can you know if you're doing a sheet pan dinner or if you're just cooking chicken breast or baking cookies or what have you you use this instead of the parchment paper they have them where it's got little circles for where to put your cookie dough. If you're making cookies, they have all kinds. But these are the ones that I ended up getting. It's four different colors that you get here. This pack is all the same size. Um, but I'll let you guys know how I like them. The brand is this brand right here, which that's backwards. But it's um, Kitzini, I think is how they say it. Anyway, really excited to try those. So those came in today. Let me stir this pasta again. All right, then I, um, I have misplaced. I had some, a lot of cookie cutters that I used for whenever I would make cookies or for when I would make um, like homemade biscuits. And I have not found them in all of my unpacking. So I did some looking online and this brand is called RSVP and they are actual biscuit cutters. So it's multiple sizes, yes, please let us know. I wouldn't need small ones, but I need big ones. Yeah, I'm really excited to use those. I will definitely, I'm sure y'all are gonna see me cooking with them on here. So I needed some biscuit cutters. This is four or five, a set of four. So there's four different sizes. I like my biscuits, the homemade biscuits, to have that little ripple look around the edge. So this came with a pack of four different sizes. They're all wrapped, but lots of sizes down from little all the way up to big so tomorrow morning I'm actually I may come on and do it live but I'm gonna make biscuits for breakfast homemade biscuits and uh, we have a ton of jelly in the refrigerator that I want to make sure we use up I bought a bunch of jelly and butter uh, peanut butter and jelly when I was at Sam's so my kids 
I have one child that cannot eat peanut butter, but all the rest of them love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I have that and we're going to use it. I made also, growing up, I had a good friend who I'm still friends with today, and her mom would make homemade biscuits. They were called angel biscuits, I think. And then she would use um, honey and room temperature butter and like mix them together, and it made like a syrup, or she would use Cairo syrup or honey, either one. And then the room temperature butter and just kind of smear it all together and put it on the biscuits. It was phenomenal. So I want to make homemade biscuits tomorrow. I'm, I'm usually, I mean, I've, I love in the mornings making, we make pancakes on our griddle. Um, I will do a live, Debbie. I will do my, I will work hard to do a live for you guys tomorrow. Uh, but I think I found a really good recipe that I'm going to do a little bit of adjusting and tweaking to, but it looks like it's going to be really yummy. And I mean, when I make chicken and dumplings, I make my dumplings right here on the counter. Um, it's easy. It's just, you know, butter, flour baking powder and it's the same thing for biscuits so why not make my own biscuits i like to make homemade biscuits and gravy i have a biscuits and gravy casserole that i love to make so why not just make the biscuits and not pay two or three dollars for a can okay i bought one other thing um oh actually i bought two other things let me show you guys what else i bought i'm always trying to hunt down my knives so I have knives, don't get me wrong. I've got a nice little stockpile of them, but I need more. <laughs> and so this set was like under $20, and it's the brand is Cuisinart. I need more small cutting knives, like utility knives and paring knives. So this had all of these in it, and the brand is Cuisinart. I don't think you can go wrong with that. And they each have a sleeve for storing them. I want videos. You want what? I want videos. You want videos? Yes. Hey Luke, can you help him with this video? Please, Luke's gonna help you, okay? And then the one last thing I bought, I don't know if you guys will be interested in this or not, but if you are trying to drink more water, you're gonna like this. So, have you guys ever seen this? You can find it at Target, uh, but you can also get it on Amazon or you can go to the Hint website and get it. I ordered it on Amazon, it's a case of 12. It is a little bit expensive, like it's, Basically, I think two do well, it's like a dollar fifty probably or a dollar twenty five per bottle is what you end up paying. This is a case of twelve, and it's water that has no calories, no sugars, nothing, nothing except it's been infused with the real like you'll have to look up the process of how it works, but it's non GMO, non bad for you, and it is the flavor of real fresh fruits that are infused into the water. Um, no preservatives, no calories, no nothing. It is amazing. Um, I love this stuff and I have not been able to find it here in San Antonio. So I ordered this case of it one a day. Like if you're trying hard to drink water and you just hate water, this is a great way to do it. Um, and they have different flavors. The peach is my favorite. They have blackberry, watermelon, cucumber. Look it up. It's called Hint Water. They also have a sparkling water one, so if you're one of those people that likes the liqueur water or whatever, which I do not, that is like disgusting to me. <laughs> but I know that there's a huge following of people that love that sparkling water. Um, they have a sparkling water version as well that's flavored with the fruits. And I, Kelsey loves that kind of water, and she's had it, and she thought it was good. Um, but I'm not a sparkling water person, but I like this regular water. So look for it, it's really good, depending on where you live, or just get it on Amazon. So that was what was waiting on my doorstep today when we came home from grandma and grandpa's and from church. So I will let you guys know as I use this stuff how I like it. Okay, I think our pasta is just about done. Yes, it is. I actually may have cooked it a minute too long. Hold on. Let me get my strainer. And we're gonna strain the pasta. We have cereal bowls in here, all kinds of stuff. Let me get my, let me drain this real quick. Ooh, that's hot. All right, some of my noodles stuck to the bottom of my pan. So I'm gonna have to deal with that.
Okay, so here's our pasta. I'm gonna get a spoon to get the rest of it out of this pan. Some of it's stuck. What do you have here, baby? I want that video. You want car videos? Yes. Okay, let's see here. Here, that try this one. one. That one. Okay, this is Lightning McQueen. Isn't that two? Here you go. Try this one. Oh. You like that one? Yeah, I like that one. He likes that one. Okay. Jack Jack loves to watch Lightning McQueen videos. And there's some YouTuber that has made a ton of videos using Lightning McQueen. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back down. Love it when he talks to you. I know he's so sweet. Let me tell you, today we were at Grandma's and Grandpa's and we always go through their garage to get in and then there's another door to get into the house once you go through the garage. And Jack stood there, he's only two and a half, he'll be three in July, and he stood there and he held the door open from, in, from the garage into the kitchen or into the side of the house. He held the door open and every time somebody would walk in, as each of us, all of our crowd, you're welcome, you're welcome mommy, love you mommy, you're welcome Nick, love you Nick. Wasn't it so cute Nick? It was the cutest thing. And then my father-in-law took him to the park and I went with him too. And then coming back he did the same thing. Thank you mom, I love you mom, you're welcome mom. He's just adorable, he is so, so precious. Okay. All right, I'm gonna turn this back down. What did Debbie say? I like plain water, but that might be good as a treat without the extra stuff. Yes, give it a try. It, I think you would really like it. Find the flavor you like. I'll tell you, I've done, the apple tasted like disgusting. <laughs> I will tell you that. I did not like the apple, and I know other people that have tried the apple and they did not like it either. Um, the mango was good. There's like a mango something. It may be like mango pineapple. Dinner, wait till dinner. Okay. Um, the peach is hands down my favorite. There's a blackberry, it's good. I've wanted to try the cucumber because I love cucumber water, um, but I have never ordered it and I've never, back when we were in Dallas, they never had it at that Target. Um, but you can buy them by the individual at like Albertsons, if you have an Albertsons in your area, Target carries them individually or you can buy the cases. Um, but I've already explained all that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn this down and we're gonna finish this up. Well, you guys just went right into the pan. That was just a matter of time, huh? <laughs> Let's see here. Sorry about that. I just dropped you right in my pan. I need a better camera holder, honestly. Okay, let's see what it's doing here. All right, geez Louise. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna add in our pasta. I'm gonna stir this up. I have missed coming on and doing lives with you guys of cooking. I feel like it has been forever. It's been a good, we actually had a funeral that we had to go to last week. Um, so we were gone for a couple of days and um, we've just had a lot going on, a whole lot going on. Okay, so there's that. Now, I am willing to bet that I could just add cheese to this and it would do really well. But I do want to make a little bit of a cream. So I'm going to take some sour cream. Let me see how I'm going to do this. All right, I'm going to take some sour cream. I cannot believe my phone just fell in there. That was pretty funny. All right, get sour cream. I'm doing like, I don't know, maybe a fourth of a cup. I'm going to play with this. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm just winging it. But that's okay, Amy Lane. We can wing it in the kitchen. I would use tomato sauce. However, all I have is paste. So I'm going to use tomato paste. And I don't know if I'll use this whole container or not, or this whole jar. I don't want my pasta to get toasty. Actually, let's see here. I'm just going to pour a knife. Alright. Okay. Let's see 
how this goes. Using a knife because I'm fancy like that. We're just going to mix this up. Tomato paste and sour cream. Going to add a little bit of milk. Or if you have heavy cream, you can add a little bit of heavy cream. Or if you just want to skip this and just use cheese, you can totally do that. But I just want to make a nice. Where is my. I need a small whisk. Hold on, pasta. Don't get dry on me. All right, so I'm just mixing this up. I added some milk, and it's got sour cream. All right, I'm gonna dump this in here. Let's see how this goes, folks. I'm totally winging it. And then we'll add cheese. Now you could add um, a jar of Rotel tomatoes, but remember I cook my hamburger meat for tacos, my taco meat. I cook it with um, Rotel dip in it, or not Rotel dip, with Rotel tomatoes in it. So, if you wanted, you could do a soup instead, like add a can of cream of mushroom soup if you wanted it mushroomy, but I'm just going to use this tomato and um, sour cream as a base. Let me turn this heat up just a little bit. Hmm. a little bit of um, broth if I wanted to, like some beef broth, and let it simmer its way down, but I really don't want to do that. But you could, if you wanted this to be a little creamier, do I want to do that? What do you guys think? Some of you who have been cooking for forever, hello Miss Kelsey, how are you? Um, what do you think? Do y'all think I should add a little bit of beef broth? I'm going to add cheese at the end. But do you think I should add some beef broth to kind of make it a little bit creamier, like maybe a cup? Yes? Okay, I'm going to do it. Well, let's see how this goes. Mm. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so y'all know how I do this. It's the beef broth base. Add, a add two tablespoons or two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. And a cup of water. So let's see here how this is going to go. Let me try it out. This shall be interesting. I'm just using my leftover bowl so I'm not dirtying up a bunch of dishes. And I eyeballed it. It's about a cup. So I think this actually will let it all come together a little creamier. Yeah, I like that. See, guys, you just gotta play with it. Look at that. Look at how yummy that is. Oh man, that looks good. Okay, I am going to, I got so many dishes going on here. I'm gonna get my cheese. in there that if anybody wants avocado I'll slice it up for them not everyone in my house likes avocado and I've got some tortillas and I've got tortilla chips so if anybody wants to eat it with a port or with I stole that word from Kelsey <laughs> all right so we can actually if we wanted to do like the oven thing I'm going to turn this down to minimum and then this is how you would turn it into a casserole that feels like it's been in the oven you're just going to put your lid on top and then all this cheese is going to melt just as if you were cooking it in the oven. 
So after probably five minutes, I've got it down to minimum heat, which is probably 100 degrees. Um, and then all of that's gonna melt down and it'll be just like a casserole. How awesome is that? So awesome, right? It looks so good, doesn't it? I love it, and it is. It's nice and thick and instant, I mean, within, I feel like all of that um, broth was already like soaked up and part of the, you know, became part of the pasta and stuff. So it will be nice and creamy and thick. Anyway, there you go. That is what I did. I just took a bunch of leftovers, took it together, threw it together and made dinner with it. So um, yeah, this cheese is starting to melt. It looks delicious. So I will post a picture when we're, when it's totally done. I'm gonna let it sit there for, I don't know, maybe five minutes. Um, I just don't want it to harden the pasta. I don't want it to cook the bottom of the pasta and make it hard. Um, but I'm gonna let it sit there and let it melt the cheese totally. And then I'm gonna serve it up. And if kids wanna eat it with some tortilla chips or a flour tortilla or by itself or with a slice of avocado, they can do that. And that's it. All right, guys, I hope you have had an amazing weekend. I hope you've had a great Sunday. I have kids fighting upstairs. I have taco casserole all over my phone. I cannot believe my phone fell into the food. I feel like that happened once before. Anyway, I hope you guys have had a great Sunday. Do your meal planning if you haven't done it yet. Order your groceries online. I wanna tell you, somebody messaged me, none of you guys, but somebody messaged me from my blog because I talk about grocery shopping online a lot. And someone messaged me and told me how lazy that was and how I needed to learn how to better manage my time if I had to rely on um, grocery shopping online. My washing machine is off balance, yay! Anyway, so um, I wanna tell you guys, I wanna tell you guys that if you feel like, if you're at a place where you're like, oh, I just feel like you know it's lazy if I use online grocery shopping or whatever, I want you to know if you are a busy person, if you have ever used Amazon to deliver something to your house, did you feel lazy for that? No. If you have ever ordered clothing from oldnavy.com and it was delivered to your house, are you lazy? No. We have to do things that we, streamlining my time is utilizing things like online grocery shopping. If you're a busy mom, if you're a busy empty nester, if you are a busy human being period who has to eat, we all do. There is absolutely no reason why you cannot order your groceries online. I will tell you, it keeps you from overspending because you stay on budget. You do not hit the checkout button and check out with your credit card until like there's no carrying a calculator around the store. It does, Amy. It saves you money because you get to see exactly what's going into your cart. As you go, you're not having to calculate it. It's calculating it for you. And you can say, oh, I'm $10 over my budget. I need to buy a little less of this or I'm gonna put this back for this time and you're not having to run back and go, like you are streamlining your time, okay? Um, you do not do impulse shopping, you don't get to the checkout and like, oh, I need to buy this and I'm gonna get this magazine. I mean, US Weekly and People Magazine, how many times are you like, I wanna get that? You know, you start reading it. Um, it keeps you from, when you go to, thank you, Debbie, thank you. Do what works for you, that's exactly right. When you go to the, when I go to the store and my kids are with me, it is hard because you've got, say your kids behave perfectly. I am so happy for you if your kids behave absolutely perfectly in the store, but still there are those distractions because they need your attention. And now you've forgotten to grab the can of um, cream and mushroom soup. And now you're going to have to go back for another trip to the store to get it. And now you're not going to just go in and get that one can of cream and mushroom soup. You're going to go in and you're going to spend $20 that you wouldn't have spent had you been able to totally focus on what you were doing. So I want to remind you guys, meal planning and utilizing online grocery shopping, no matter where you live here in San Antonio, I use walmart.com and I use heb.com. Um, depending on where you live, you may have Kroger, you may have Tom Thumb. There's lots of different options. Utilize it. Give it a try once. A lot of times you can get a discount code for the first time that you use it. I actually have a discount code for anyone wanting to try Walmart who's never tried it. Um, it's a $10 off coupon for your order of $50 or more. So I just want to say that, yeah, that's another thing, Tina, safety. You know, I can tell you that going to the store with, my, with kids in today's day and time, safety is an issue. Safety... <sighs> Guys, I don't have to tell you, you know what you see online about things that are happening in grocery stores where things are happening to children and that terrifies me. And I'm not trying to be like 
encourage you, I'm not trying to make you feel terrified, but I'm just saying online grocery shopping serves a purpose. And if it is something that you need right now where you're at in your life, do not feel like you are lazy by utilizing online grocery shopping because you're not. I just want you to know that, okay? Because when that person messaged me, I'm like, wow, if you want to streamline, streamlining is being resourceful and streamlining is taking the things out and replacing them with time-saving things, which is online grocery shopping. I know we're all in different stages and seasons and all of that, but I just want you guys to think. I want you guys to really process that and think about how online grocery shopping is gonna save you in so many ways outside of just time, but sticking to your budget and your sanity and all of those things. And then you have everything you need on hand so that you can make your dinners at home and you don't have to eat out. So there you go. All right, guys, let me see. Yes, look, I'm gonna show you. I just took the lid off. Our dinner is done. Look at this. It's like perfectly, see that? Doesn't that look amazing? And that was dinner made out of leftovers. Seriously, how awesome is that? All right, guys. Y'all have a great rest of your Sunday. If you haven't meal planned yet, map your meal plan out. Do not waste money in the drive through lines this week. Do not waste money eating out. Make your grocery list, order your groceries online, and make dinner at home. All right, guys, have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye.